Selenium is an automation testing tool used to automate web-based applications. It consists of three parts, IDE, RC and the web driver. Web driver is the latest version of Selenium. Talking about IDE, IDE basically is something which is having the record and run feature like we have in every automation tool such as QTP, Silk, Test and all and it's got a very good user interface. The core engine of IDE is JavaScript based and you can also use your own user extensions and all in it. Okay. Basically it supports record and run and you can do a lot of dynamic stuff with IDE as well. The problem with IDE is that it only works in Firefox. If you want to make your scripts run in multiple browsers, browsers such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, Chrome, Safari, then you need to use Selenium RC. Selenium RC is something which is supporting multiple browsers. It can be used with multiple languages. That is, in RC there is no user interface. You have to use languages such as Java, PHP, Ruby, Python, C Sharp, or Perl. One of these languages you have to adopt, learn, and then code in Selenium RC. It doesn't matter if your website is made in C Sharp, it doesn't matter that you make your code in Java, right? It's independent of the language in which your, your application under test is made. If the application under test is made in PHP, then you can even use Selenium RC with Java to test it. Selenium RC is also uh, platform independent. That is, you can make the code in Windows, Linux, or Solaris based operating system. The most famous extension of Selenium RC is the Java extension because Java is again a platform independent language. If you make the code on Windows, you can even make it uh, run on Linux, Solaris or even Mac based operating systems. Selenium RC is also supporting Mac based operating systems. It's not there written over here, but it is supporting the Mac based system as well. Right. Now, the RC is having a lot of problems. Like, you have to start and stop the server and other stuff, okay? If somebody has worked on it, you must be knowing. Now, to overcome all these issues and to increase the scope of RC, we came up with something known as WebDriver. WebDriver is having a lot of cool features. Again, WebDriver is available in many, many languages, but right now it's not available in PHP and Perl. The development is still going on. It's available for Java, Ruby, Python, and C Sharp. It's got very cool features like you don't have to start the server. It is also supporting Android and iPhone based testing. It's got listeners. You can extract the object in bulk uh, like you do in QTP through descriptive programming. And it supports multiple browsers like IE, Mozilla, Chrome. Right now, the support for Opera and Safari is not there, but it is coming very soon. Right. It's the latest thing in the market and it is completely different from Selenium RC. If somebody knows Selenium RC, he looks, if he looks at the web driver code, it looks very different from the RC code. Now you can convert the code from your IDE, whatever you record and run in IDE, you can convert it into web driver as well as RC code. Right. So IDE is something which is having a user interface, web driver and Selenium RC has got no user interface. You have to use core programming languages in that. Now, when we use Selenium, we make scripts. Scripts like these. Script 1, script 2, script 3, script 4. Right? Now, when you need to execute these scripts, you need to read the data from the Excel files. This process of reading the data from the Excel files is known as parameterization. Apart from that, you also have to Generate some HTML test reports. You need to know what happened with script failed, with script passed, along with the screenshots. Now, you need to generate the logs as well. You need to implement the logging. Suppose the scripts take five hours to run. You need to know what happened at each and every minute. You need to log everything. So we need a kind of centralized controller which will read the test data, execute the scripts, generate the reports, and do the logging and all everything. So that centralized controller is the JUnit or the test ng framework. JUnit and test ng are two frameworks available in the market for testing. And you can use Selenium with JUnit or test ng to execute your scripts. The JUnit or test ng framework will execute the scripts. They will generate the HTML reports. They will do the logging part, everything. So what we get in the end is a data driven or a keyword driven framework. We have to make, design the whole system as such that it ends up as a data driven or a keyword driven system.
right? So your tests can be data driven, keyword driven, and there are other stuff as well like hybrid framework is also there, then modular framework is also there, which we discussed in the training, right? Now, once this is over, you need to run your scripts. You, need, you can run your scripts on Windows as well as Linux. The whole framework has to be executed. When you execute your framework on Windows, you use Eclipse. Or if you want to execute your uh, scripts on Windows through command prompt, then we use something known as Apache Ant tool. Ant is a tool, it's a build and compile tool by Apache. It can help you run your programs from command prompt. Similarly, when you are using Linux and you want to run your script on a Linux based server, you use Ant. So Selenium scripts, when combined with JUnit and all everything make up a complete testing framework and the whole framework can either be run through Ant or Eclipse. So that's all about this small presentation. Thank you.